Hello guys, today I want to show you one feature of Quick Admin Panel which you can use even outside of Quick Admin Panel, which is API Generator. So we didn't create a separate API Generator for Laravel, but it is inside of Admin Panel Generator as a feature, as a function. And I will show you three cases. First case is in the old jQuery version, it is generated as a separate API CRUD. Then in the Vue.js version of our generator, it exists as an internal function and you cannot launch that panel without API because it's Vue plus API version. And also I will generate the API and try to adapt the code into existing non-quick admin panel general Laravel project. So basically you would be able to have your own Laravel project, then generate just the API layer with quick admin panel, copy paste some files and have the API. So let's see how it works. First, if you have the original jQuery Laravel version of admin panel, you can create an API for any CRUD that you create. So you create a CRUD, for example, transactions. Let's call it transactions. Quick admin panel offers that it exists from our old panel. Okay, we accept that. And then one of the options is generate API CRUD, which is enabled by default. And then you save the CRUD and we will view the code what has been generated for the API controllers, routes, resources. Okay, the code is generated. We go to view code, remember transactions. So what do we have? App, HTTP, controllers, API. Then API is by default version one, admin, and then we have transactions, API controller. And all the methods that are needed for the API, index, store, show, update, and destroy, five methods. So controller is number one thing that we generate. Also, there are resources. So transaction resource is in app, HTTP, resources, admin, transaction resource, which is just the default version of the resource, but it is ready for you to customize to return different set of data for the resource. If we get back to transactions API controller, also we use the gates, which are the same for the general routes, for the general CRUD within our roles and permission system. And also we use the requests, which are also the same for the visual forms and for the APIs. So store transaction request, we can go to app HTTP requests and there's store transaction request, which looks like this. I didn't specify any field to be required. That's why the rules are empty, but it would contain the rule if I had specified that something is required. Then there's routes API file, routes API PHP, which looks like this. So for every CRUD, there's API resource, not route resource, but route API resource. So this one was generated and the whole route group is prefixed with namespace API v1 admin, also with API dot for route names and also v1 for calling that API with slash API slash v1 by default. So all those routes. And also by default, it is protected by middleware auth sanctum with Laravel sanctum, which is kind of a default package for the auth in Laravel APIs. Now let's try to launch that API. So I have downloaded the code locally from quick admin panel, installed the panel, and this is what we have here visually. So we can add a transaction with amount one, two, three, four, five, and it is saved. But now API, let's launch postman. And the URL for that endpoint would be API v1 transactions. And if we send, of course, we get the message unauthenticated because the sanctum protects us. But let's for a while remove the middleware of auth sanctum. So it would be public. So let's comment out the middleware of auth sanctum. And remember the prefix of v1, that becomes v1 here. And if we send now, we get forbidden. So that's, by the way, the difference between 401 authenticated, which means that the person is not logged in, and 403 forbidden, which means that I am logged in or I have a user, but I don't have permissions. So permissions are handled by gates and let's open transactions API controller locally. And again, for the demo purposes, let's remove this transaction access because it would take quite a long time for me to set up all the access locally. We send. And now we get the results of our transaction list. So basically in quick admin panel, you enable API for any CRUD, you download the code and API is a separate set of routes, controllers and all of that for your API. So that's one version. Another version is with Vue.js. So when you create a new project in quick admin panel, you can choose the version and this one we've taken a look now and Vue.js is another version which includes Laravel API by default. So let's create a new Vue.js panel transactions two, for example, and we will create the same CRUD and I will show you it's almost the same code for the API for Vue.js version versus the non-view version, 
with one slight difference. So let's create transactions menu item CRUD with field of money amount. So same thing. We don't specify that it's enabling API because it's enabled by default. We save the CRUD and let's see what the code looks like. It has been generated, so it will take like five seconds or so. And let's take a look then. Okay, we're good. View code. And it's almost the same thing. App, HTTP, controllers, API, V1, admin, transactions, API controller. It's a bit different name, but just to understand the file name from the very file name, we added that suffix of API controller. And it's almost the same with a bit more features related to Vue.js data tables. For example, we have a trade for filtering for the API. Then also we have a separate two functions for create and for edit, which are not visual, but they are used for drop downs for something like what data would be needed for the create form for the Vue.js create form. So in this case, there is nothing needed, but maybe you would need something in the future. So for example, if transactions have category, you would load the categories here. Then in the routes API, it's almost the same thing or in fact, identical thing just for the Vue.js, we have more things like abilities like locales, but generally route resource is the same. It's not route API resource this time, it's route resource because it has all seven verbs, including create and edit, which I've mentioned just now. And now let's download that one and see how it works locally. Okay, have installed that one locally as well. We also have transactions here, but now let's take a look at API requests in the network tab. Let's refresh that page and we will see that there's abilities API request for the access and then there are transactions API. So the header is slash API slash v1 slash transactions. And if we try to, for example, add transaction with one, two, three, four, five, we will have another API request of post the transaction and then another request to refresh the table to get transactions again. So all those API routes are used from the Vue.js inside of Vue.js code. And now I will try to show you the case that you have Laravel project, so not quick admin panel at all. And you would try to generate the API layer for your project. So imagine you have a list of transactions, for example, description, amount, and user. And in the database is just a simple table of amount, description, and user ID. And you need an API for that. So you have only the controller of like home controller transactions, so visual controller, and let's generate API for that. So I generated a new project in Quick Admin Panel, which contains users, but we don't care about that. All we need to care about is to create our transactions as a CRUD. It offers some fields, but we don't care about that. What fields do we need? Amount, description, and user ID. So amount is field of money, amount, or in fact, let's make it integer. So it would be exactly the same as in your database. So integer amount then text area of description and user ID would be foreign key to user table or you can make it integer as well that depends but belongs to relationship for example for user and table user which is in quick admin panel by default and we enable the feature of generate API CRUD okay we save the CRUD and now I will download the panel and copy only the files that we need for the API so I download the full code have an archive of that, then I unarchive it locally. And these are the files and I will copy step by step what we need. So I've opened both projects in my commander one on my MacBook file commander. And this is the downloaded project. And this is my local Laravel project. So what we need to copy is app HTTP controllers API, pretty much everything because in my local project, it's empty. So app HTTP controllers, there is no API. So we just copy the full folder of API but we don't need all the APIs here for the admin. We delete all about rows and permissions. Also, we need to copy the requests. So requests for validation. So app HTTP requests. We don't have any requests in my local project. So let's copy all the folder and then delete what we don't need. So we need only store transaction and update transaction. And let's delete everything else. Okay. Then we need the resources. So resources folder. Also, we copy in app HTTP resources. And again, delete what we don't need. We need only the transaction resource. 
cool. And finally, we need to modify the controller according to your permissions. In our case, I don't have any permissions. So let's remove the gate and remove the gates everywhere here. So in index, in the show, we don't need abort if for gate denies. In destroy, we don't need it for now. Maybe you would add that in the future. So that's the controller part. And then in the request part, in the form request, we also remove the gates and go to authorize return true here. And also in update, authorize return true. So we removed all the middleware now. And finally, we need to modify routes API, which is by default in my project empty. So in this case, we don't copy all the file, or in fact, we can actually override the file because it's empty. I didn't have any functionality. So if we go to routes API, and in this case, routes API, and just copy and override the file. Yes. And then modify what we don't need. So we don't need middleware sanctum. And we don't need anything about transactions, non transactions. So we care only about transactions. And now let's try to launch API locally. So locally, my URL of the project is project four dot test. And here I have a lot of transactions. And let's try to show for example, transaction number one in the postman. So project four dot test API v one transactions slash one send transactions API controller does not exist. Oh, I forgot one thing. So in Laravel eight, the syntax changed for the routing and it doesn't automatically resolve the controller namespace, which is in route service provider. So in my local route service provider, I need to uncomment the default Laravel commented code for the namespace, which should be app HTTP controllers by default for the APIs. And then I relaunch the postman. And now I get the transaction with ID one with whatever data it also contains. So we implemented the quick admin panel generated API, slightly modified, but for our Laravel project. So that's it about APIs, our generator, our versions of the generator, how to implement it. Of course, there are more details to that. So you can try it out, go to quickadminpanel.com, generate the API, and let's create awesome APIs with Laravel.